went to Akagi? section. It's much flatter than the beginning. Without a slope to help him along, his speed's gonna start dropping. The next S turn should do just fine. There's no way he can avoid my counterattack. <laughs> They're here! No way! This is one of the shortest sections on the course. But look at his acceleration! It's crazy! Seems like he may try to take him on the outside. Challenging the 8-6 at a corner? That's brave. He'll take the inside position at the next corner. I'm sure of it. With that sick acceleration in the Evo 3, the 8-6 is toast. Really? The Evo 3 just took the lead? At a corner? Well, we weren't expecting that. All right, keep us posted if anything else crazy goes down. Thanks, man. What now? This is classic Kyoichi. He held himself back from attacking during the section with the steepest decline, and waited until the 8-6 began to lose speed on the flatter portion. With his level of expertise and the Evo 3's abilities, Kyoichi could have taken the lead much earlier but he bided his time and waited until the perfect moment where his margin of error was lowest. That's the driver I know so well. Now the real question is, will the 8-6 have an opportunity to take the lead back? I hope you don't expect me to respond to that. You should be more than capable of figuring out the answer yourself. We should have stayed home and let us handle the big boys ourselves. Now he's on the verge of losing for nothing. It's so stupid. been able to gain even more speed. Usually exiting a corner is key for a turbo, but it's the complete opposite for an NA, which is all about the entrance. That's more or less the basic overriding theory behind all downhill racing. But that's not exactly the case when you have a misfiring system. You're exactly right. Having the misfiring system in place makes both the turbo's torque as well as the NA's responsiveness possible. Coupled with Kyoichi's skills behind the wheel, that Evo 3 becomes a cornering machine of monstrous proportions. It can both enter and exit a corner with precision and speed, making it the ultimate dogfighter. This race is nothing more than a suicide mission. I think I'm starting to believe this race was never about speed in the first place. <laughs> think about it. Kyoichi has carefully studied every nuance of this course over the past few years, while Takami has zero experience here. There shouldn't be any question as to who the favorite is. I hear you. I don't know what exactly went on between those two. 
Takami showed up to a race tonight without the tools necessary for a victory. I don't get it. Why did he have to act so friggin' irrational all of a sudden? We'll probably never know why he came to Akagi. The truth is that sometimes we want to race for no other reason than to just blow off steam. He seemed to have that air about him tonight. This isn't his usual racing style. Normally the 8.6's exhaust has a high-pitched sound to it. Tonight it's an enraged roar. 